morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the second Data Oxygen Summit. I'm Hao Yuan Li, founder and CEO of Alexio. Super excited to present and share today, along with 40 plus other presenters, and three times more audience than what the last year's summit had. What's even more exciting is that this year, because the event is virtual, we are having the audience all over the world not be bounded by the location anymore, just like our open source technology. All right, let's get started. My topic today is data orchestration for analytics and AI in the cloud era. Data is oil. The most valuable companies around the world are data driven and they rely on great data infrastructures. There's no doubt that having great data infrastructure is critical, fundamental, and strategic for organizations around the world who want to lead. However, achieving the goal is really hard. Why is that? Fast growing data industry led to a fragmented data world. Let's take a look at it. Every organization is generating, collecting, and storing a lot more data every day. Naturally, these data are stored in different storage deployments, which created various data silos. In the meantime, with a data-driven culture getting more popular, which is great, more people from various teams need to leverage the data to generate value for their business needs. And these people may have different analytical and AI workloads and skill sets, which results in using different technologies in terms of both compute and storage systems. In addition, our technology industry is fast growing or fast progressing as well, which it has been creating new compute frameworks and new storage systems every three to eight years. With this fragmented data world, today's data platforms are complex and agile prone. And here are the reasons. Because the volume of the data is getting larger and larger, which is also typically owned by different teams stored in different data silos. Copying and managing data all over the places is really costly, agile prune, and a lot of times cause the delays for applications to access the data as well. Also, each team has different ways of accessing data for different workloads like SQL and AI. So some teams may need SQL interfaces, while other teams may need Hadoop, Porsix, S3, REST API interfaces, etc. In the meantime, each storage system supports certain APIs, so the applications have to adapt themselves or even have to be rewritten. In addition, with the innovation on the cloud, hybrid cloud, and the multi cloud, the need to support these various environments made this hard job of building a great data infrastructure even harder. So with this, with this, this is how a typical data infrastructure looks like today or evolves into today, which is very complex. In many cases, this data infer starts with on-premise HDFS systems with compute frameworks, particularly for advanced analytics and the ETLs workload like the box illustrated at the bottom left on this page. Then many data teams started to add object store into the picture because they are cheaper, like Minio, like Ceph, and machine learning AI workloads support as well, such as TensorFlow, uh, et cetera, into their data platform, like the box illustrated at the bottom right of this page. After that, the companies start to start to explore a cloud-based infrastructure. Uh, in the meantime, they would like to preserve investment from on-premise. In this case, they're likely to use a hybrid cloud architecture or to make a data copy in the cloud. You can see the uh, upper left box representing that case. And then for many enterprise companies, they typically have a multi-cloud strategy or ended up with implementing a multi-cloud data infrastructure. So that is being shown on the upper right side of this, uh, of this page. And to be clear, on this page, every single compute frameworks or every single uh, storage systems 
can be any analytical L or AI compute or can be any data store. And, and the cloud can be any cloud vendor, can be any cloud providers as well. So as you can see, every application, when it is being created, people need to consider the environment, the compute frameworks, the storage all together. In addition, it is very complex and they manage the data in the various data silos. So that's uh, the data infrastructure today or many data infrastructure is being evolved into today. So teams with these legacy data platforms are struggling. The complex and error prone data platforms are slowing down the business agility and incurring a very high cost of maintaining it, not even saying to innovate. So would it be great if we have a data orchestration platform that can significantly reduce the complexity of the data platform, can serve the data to the analytical and AI applications efficiently, and be able to make the platform environment agnostic. So if we wanna have something like that, what would be the requirements? First, it needs to be able to unify the data silos. It means it supports APIs to meet the needs for analytical and AI applications and provides the abstractions to remain compute and storage independent. It also be able to unify multiple data lakes across regions and the public clouds so that one persistent data copy for each data set and the multiple logical copies needed uh, based, uh, based on the need. Second, so the platform needs to provide easy and efficient data access and data management. Typically, that means features like caching and policy-based data management. Third, the data orchestration platform should be able to, uh, to be environment agnostic and multi-cloud ready. So it supports existing solutions in the data ecosystem, as well as be able to evolve and support future compute and the storage systems. We believe that we can, evolve, we can solve this by having a data orchestration systems, system sitting uh, between all the compute frameworks, as well as all the storage systems, and be able to support all different cloud environments. It should separate the compute side and the storage side to reduce the complexity of the whole data platform and orchestrate the data and orchestrate the data among the data silos automatically. With this data orchestration vision in our community, we have implemented Aluxio as an open source data orchestration system. It provides data accessibility by having unified namespace and API translation. It virtualizes and abstracts the data from various storage deployments and serve those data to all the data-driven applications on top of it. It also provides the high-performance IO by having features like intelligent caching. Uh, in addition, it provides cost-effective data management by leveraging its policy-driven data management engine. In this case, you can mount different storage systems as folders in Alexio, as long as, uh, as an easy serve those data into any data-driven applications, as long as the applications interact with Alexio for IO, they don't need to worry about where the data is stored and this makes the system environment agnostic. So with a data orchestration system like Alexio, let's take a look at the updated data platform. You can see the key difference is that with the Alexio data orchestration system in the middle, it removes the complexity of the data management among various data silos and fully separates the uh, compute frameworks and the storage systems. And in, this envir in each environment, as long as the applications interact with Alexio, they do not need to worry about where the data is stored and how to move the data around, which are fully taken care of by the Alexio data orchestration system. So with this, the application developers can focus, on the, can focus their energy on building the business applications and count on the data orchestration system like Alexio 
to orchestrate the data and provide the data to the applications when it is needed. So with a great effort from our community realizing the vision, there are thousands of companies running Alexio data orchestration system today. And here is a short list of the companies which have presented, which uh, they have presented a lot their Alexio use cases in public, including at this summit. So with these successful examples, if you also want to do this, what is a good user journey? of adopting Alexio step-by-step -step to realize the data orchestration, data orchestration vision in your organizations as well. So the journey typically starts from one or two simple use cases and then evolves into realizing the full vision. Let's list out the five most typical starting use cases here. These two use cases a single, single dip center use cases. If you look at the left, that's a single cloud use cases. It's any data-driven application like TensorFlow, Spark, Presto, running on top of Alexio, and Alexio on top of the cloud-based object store. And in this case, it improve performance, improve performance and does API translation. And on the right side, it's similar, but it's on-premise. Essentially, it is all the data-driven applications as well, plus Alexio on top of an object store, which, store, which is deployed on-premise. And in both cases, they do performance acceleration and API translation provided by uh, uh, Alexio. And these three cases are the cross data center use cases. And you can see the first one, it is a hybrid cloud use case, which is you store your data on-premise and your data-driven applications burst into the cloud environment, and you have Alexio in the middle, perform as caching, API translation, data movement for the high efficiency. And they can gradually migrate the data using this architecture as well. And the, the, the box in the middle, that's the, another way of the hybrid cloud, which is storage in the cloud, but the compute on-premise so that they can fully leverage their compute side existing resource deployments as well. And the third one, that's the both on-premise, but two different data centers. And you can see uh, Alexio and the compute in one data center and the storage system in the other data center. And in all the three use cases, you can see significant performance boost and uh, a lot more ROI than without using this architecture. And in the later session, in Kelvin and Bean's presentation, they'll provide the detailed explanation of these five use cases. So after, uh, after an organization running one or two simple use cases, like what we presented, they will start to implement the full data orchestration vision. So in which case, the platform provide efficient access and easily managed data for data-driven applications, regardless of the environment. And now let's, let's take a look at full, two full user journey examples. And here's the first one. And in this very first example, you can see this particular user starting from, they have HDFS and object store both on premise, and they wanna unify, quite unified data access to the applications on top of these two different source systems and they use Alexio Unified Namespace. And second, after doing so, they'll use Alexio caching functionality to provide performance acceleration, particularly for the object store. And then after successfully achieving these two uh, scenarios, they start to leverage the hybrid cloud and burst their compute into the cloud environment, which they started from the AI uh, machine learning applications in the cloud, which is different from the on-premise. And in the end, now they are moving towards the multi-cloud architecture by replicating the, uh, the setup in one cloud into the other cloud. So this is their journey. And here is where, where this user uh, is today. As you can see, they have SAF and HDFS on-premise and they run in two different, different cloud providers. This is the user journey uh, example user journey one. Let's look at the other user as a second example. In this particular user, they started from the 
uh, bursty uh, hybrid cloud use case, burst analytical workload into the cloud environment. Particularly, they have the data on premise and some data in the cloud storage as well, but they use Presto uh, in the cloud environment with Alexio to burst the Presto compute into the cloud environment. And after successfully doing so, they want to do replicate the data into sto different storage systems. In their case, it is HDFS uh, in two different locations. And after success of doing that, uh, now they are moving towards a multi-cloud as well in two different cloud providers. And you can see this is a uh, picture illustration of where this cloud, at least where this user is for their data infrastructure. Now we have shared the vision of data orchestration. Alexio as an implementation example and user journey examples of who have, who have realized the vision. Here, we would like to take this opportunity to invite all of you to join this journey together to orchestrate all your data for your analytical and AI applications using a unified data orchestration platform. So you have a leading data platform for your organizations as well. It is really a community effort to realize this vision. I would like to thank all of our presenters and community members from the following organizations and communities for sharing their work and knowledge at this summit. Really appreciate our effort advancing our vision together. In the end, wish all of the summit attendees have a great two days of events, learn from each other, make new friends, and have fun. Thank you very much. Thank <music> you.